LEX 18 News Now. Good morning, just past eight. Thank you for joining us for LEX 18 News Now. I'm Chris Goodman. A Lexington family received some closure after their son's killers were sentenced for their crime. Derek Pelfrey was shot to death in a 2013 robbery. For their roles in Pelfrey's murder, Trustin Jones was sentenced to 40 years in prison. Robert Guernsey sentenced to 23. Pelfrey's father says that while he approves of the sentences, he takes no joy in watching so many families shattered because of one senseless act. A 12 year old girl has died in a crash yesterday in Breathitt County. Her father with serious injuries desperately tries to save her. Officials say the car lost control when it flipped uh, into a creek on War Shoal Branch outside of Jackson. Harley Robertson was thrown from the car. Her father was performing CPR when first responders arrived. Sadly, she did not make it. And her father, we've learned, has been transferred to UK hospital with life threatening injuries. More on that huge shakeup at Louisville based Papa John's founder John Schnatter is stepping down as CEO. The company announced yesterday that Schnatter will be replaced January 1st. Schnatter recently blamed lagging pizza sales on the NFL's anthem protest since the company sponsors the league. The company later apologized after white supremacists praised his comments. The incoming CEO uh, owns the company or has been with the company for more than 20 years. Schnatter is still the company's biggest shareholder and will continue to serve as chairman of the board. Hope you can join us on air for LEX 18 News at noon. All the day's news, weather and consumer news in 30 minutes. Your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast coming up after this. Ageless medical weight loss can help improve your overall health. Robert lost 107 pounds and 83 inches. He reduced his cholesterol and triglycerides levels. Ageless is a safe, affordable, medically supervised weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Historically speaking, our chances of a white Christmas here in Lexington aren't all that great. In fact, 16% chance of seeing at least one inch of snow on the ground on Christmas morning. That's a true tradition of a white Christmas. The last time that happened was back seven years ago when there was two inches on the ground in, on Christmas of 2010. Our chances today are this year not looking that great either. We're starting off your Christmas weekend warm. Temperatures already in the mid 50s. The skies are cloudy. Eventually, we're going to be getting a lot wetter. But right now, our Max Track Live Doppler is quiet. The showers are now just starting to creep into western Tennessee, and a few sprinkles are falling across western Kentucky. The bulk of the activity gets here during the afternoon and evening for us locally. So the rest of the morning and into lunchtime, skies just stay cloudy. There may be a stray shower that pops up somewhere, especially across southern Kentucky. That's slightly better chance there. But then as the afternoon wears on, light rain begins to move in. We'll continue to track widespread and even heavy rain through the overnight. That's really the main event with this cold front that's going to be sagging closer to the bluegrass and then just stalling out as we go into the weekend. So roads will be wet tomorrow if you are going to be heading out to do some Christmas shopping or if you're going to be traveling into the afternoon. We'll eventually begin to see these showers tapering off. Then as chillier air begins to rush in on the back side, we do stand the chance to pick up a general one to three inches of rain between now and tomorrow afternoon with some locally higher amounts across southern Kentucky. So minor flooding may become a concern. There will be a flash flood watch going out for areas to the south of I-64 starting this afternoon, running through early tomorrow afternoon as small streams and creeks could quickly rise with that amount of rainfall. Looking towards Christmas Day, though, we are getting colder, only freezing for a high temperature. Not a true white Christmas, but some of us could be seeing a few flurries around on Christmas Day. Uh, more details on the holiday forecast coming up in your full storm tracker forecast today on LEX 18 News at noon.